Hey there, Marksman, this is Sean of Nintendo here, and welcome to episode 22 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the previous episode, we had finally made it into the third dungeon in the game, the Laneru Mining Facility. Now, I'll let you guys know right now, today, it is a beautiful day. Uh, quite the day outside right now, and the birds are chirping. Uh, so, I don't know if you can hear the birds chirping, but I can hear the birds chirping. <laughs> and, uh, they're having quite a grand old time right now. So, let me just drop this in here. Oh, come back here, buddy. Let me put you away. Okay, so you just give me five rubies, I guess. I, I'm guaranteeing you guys can hear those birds. Like, holy crap. Um, hang on, I think I can only stun this guy. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me... Item. Shoot. There we go. Put away. And run. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I think I can slash this guy from here. Can I? You're just so far away. Damn it! Okay, let me just get up in this thing. Put us down. Birds! <laughs> I guarantee you probably cannot like hear them on the microphone at all because I've had like I've had like, louder noises like appear closer to the microphone before and then like and they didn't get picked up by it. So <laughs> I guess I just got to deal with the chirping. Yeah, there's another switch over there. Now let's go get that one, shall we? It's probably for the treasure chest over there. At least we got some money. So let me tell you guys what I've been doing. Uh, what I've been doing recently. Um, Bravely Default. Now, I don't have the game, but oh my god, my friend Spencer sent me uh, s some soundtracks from the game. And it is probably one of the one of the greatest soundtracks I've heard from, like, any game in a long time. Now, uh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Throws a little dry. Oh, no. Um, I, just the soundtrack alone has been making me, like, consider getting the game. Uh, it, the soundtrack is literally that good. And uh, I guess if I do get the game, uh, could consider it a let's play for when I get my 3DS capture board. You know, you guys saw that update video I did. Uh, 3DS capture board is on its way. Well, not on its way right now, but uh, it is certainly something that I'm going to be... Do put that away. It is certainly something I'm going to be investing in uh, at some point. Now, we've been spending a good majority of time just in this first room right here, so let's actually make our way through the temple a little bit here. Uh, this should be... I, I know this is the last temple... Like the, well, like the last dungeon, actually. So, actually, oh, I know these dudes. These dudes are kind of funny to kill. Actually, I'm pretty sure we killed them before. We gotta, like, uh, slash it in the angle that their all their skulls are faced in. Or else they'll just regenerate. Nope. You see, that didn't work. I don't think I even need to kill these guys. Oh! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, no! You... No! <laughs> ah, okay. I'm just gonna ignore you now. So, what do we gotta do next here? been quite a while. Get off me! Come on, can I get a break here? Okay, let's see. No! Ooh, blobs. Give me that. You got a jelly blob. But yeah, if you guys have ever uh, considered getting Bravely Default, I haven't even played it, and I'd probably re I probably definitely recommend it. Uh, it's got quite a, it's got a similar style of uh, gameplay to Dragon Quest IX. It's the game I played on the DS. Uh, another fantastic game. I think I have to kill these guys. I hope you can't hear those birds. They're going ballistic right now. Come on. Oh, come on! Okay, I gotta kill these guys, don't I? No. Yes! There we go. Oh, come on! I'm gonna get you. Oh, uh, wait. There, perfect! I guess that's the fire. I only hit the middle one! Come on. Come on, line them up. There we go! Oh, no! Line them up. Let him up. There we go. Oh, come on. I keep missing one of them. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, give me a second here. What? Hey, don't you, don't you walk away from me. I'll cut your head off again. Here. Gotcha. There we go. Okay. One down. <laughs> now you. You're next. Nope. Nice try, buddy. Ah, there we go. You were much easier. I just had to swing it a little harder. Does that open anything? Really? Ugh. Okay, fine. I gotta move stuff. Uh, can I? Can I? There we go. Is there any place I can like go to? Without you, I always get confused in this dungeon. Maybe I have to kill everything? I don't know. Let me trick to kill you. Kill you. Did that do anything? No. Anything I have to hit? Uh, switches, 
Is that door? But I don't see how I'm supposed to get to that door. Is there a way around the side? Maybe, maybe if I push this... Hang on, let me move this box forward here. Get a... You can get a running jump up to here. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. That did something. Room number two! Took a while to get in here, but... Oh, yes, okay. Now I'm remembering. Um, first order of business is to get this bomb right here. I'm gonna blow up these boxes over here. I'm pretty sure that acts as a shortcut uh, to get back later. Uh, so we're just going to want to have that at the ready. There we go. Or else we have to go that way. I'm not not too sure, but uh, pretty sure clearing up that way is not going to be a bad idea. We can't go that way. There's a save point here, which I'm just going to grab anyway. Uh, save. Saving is always good. Okay, so I remember being stuck here for quite a while. Um, oh, hello. You're an electric blob. You're... Stop it. Don't do that. There we go. Okay, um... I, we can't go that way. Can we go that way? We can jump across here, I know that for a fact. But can we, like, do anything over here? What are those? Oh, keys! Ugh. Okay. <laughs> what are the chest? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, key! There we go. Okay, you see, because I've had that happen in dungeons many times before where... They're like, they'll put a key in a small chest, and then they'll put a key in a big chest. So, usually when you see the big chest, you think, oh, you know, it's going to be something more important than a key. But then it is a key. And then you see a small chest thinking it can, it's, you know, probably not going to be a key, but then it is a key. This is very confusing. Okay, well, now that we have the key, we'll go to the door over to the right. Nope, to the left. That kind of disoriented me a bit. Okay, very nice, very nice. Making progress. Oh, yes, this room. What the hell is that thing? Uh. Okay. Got some flying thing. Oh. Oh, I know what these things are. They, uh, they blow up. You gotta hit them against them. You gotta hit them against stuff. Yeah, there we go, and then they blow up. That's how you kill them. You kill them by touching them. Okay, cool. Put away. Let me just, uh, I need some ammo for my slingshot. Because using the slingshot would be a lot easier way of, uh, killing these things. Um, let me back up a little bit. There we go. And bam! So you gotta, you gotta hit them. Oh, there's things. Oh, God. I need slingshot ammo. Oh, oh, they fell off, they fell off. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that saved me some time. My jelly blob, no! I'll come back for you. Poor Jelly Blob. Okay, so if I'm remembering correctly, there is a... There should be a time shift stone somewhere around here. And there also should be some bomb that we can use to blow up that crate over there. That we can use the beetle to get access to. Oh, get off. Okay, that works. Actually, we're supposed to not drop down here. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, get up. Come on, leap, leap, leap of fate. Okay, uh, where the, is it up there? Where the hell is the time shift stone? Let me take a look around here. There should be a time shift stone around here somewhere. I know there's one in that cage. But can we, can we get in there? Do I need to use a slingshot? Oh, hang on, I see the bomb. I saw the bomb. The bomb's over there. There we go. Use that bomb to get at that crate up there. Yes, you, you no. Pick up. Put away. Just pick up. Put away. <laughs> God damn it, the button combination on this thing. Okay. Pick up the bomb here. Yoink. Oh, that was close. We'll turn this, bring it around town. Up we go. Aha, there's a switch, which the switch is going to open the cage. Which will allow us to hit the thing. The time shift stone. You're supposed to be in a chattering kaboom. <laughs> okay. I can't remember where I'm. Re I can't remember where I'm remembering that from. Yes, Sean, you can good English. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
Okay, so we hit this thing, it'll bring us back to the past. To Samurai Jack. BAM! When out of spiky things become electric. Oh, Beamos. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Also, everything does look a lot nicer now. Oh, yeah, okay, we, got, we can't stay on the switch. So that means there's probably more than one switch that opens up that thing. Now, the Beamos in this game die in quite a funny way. You chop them off and then you stab them in the eye. Now, I'm pretty sure more some of them have more layers. So, uh, we'll get this guy now. Oh! Get you, and stabby. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby for a stabby. Oh, okay, so, uh... Let me run across this thing first! Okay, there we go. They definitely make, uh... Make good use of the, uh... The running meter in this game. Grab you. And... Okay, I think that's probably like 20 rubies or something. These... Okay, so... Oh, oh no! Oh. Run! Okay. Okay, that was, that was bad. So we gotta wait for one of those little lime things to drop down. There we go. So when we're running against this thing, we can regain some stamina along the way, so we don't run out of energy. I don't know how this thing just, like, gives us stamina, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Whew! I'm exhausted just from looking at that. Uh, we're just, I'm gonna go grab that chest, because I'm imagining at some point we're gonna need a lot of money. And I think there's a bee most guarding this. It's just a single one, so it's alright. Chop you, and stab. Stab, stab. Good. <laughs> Open the chest. And get the 20 rubies. Now, as far as I remember, there should be a piece of heart. And a, uh... What is it? A piece of heart and a goddess cube. Inside this temple, I think. No, I'm not remembering completely correctly, but I'm pretty sure. What the hell? Okay, I gotta wait for one of those. Lime! Get the lime! Yes! Lemon and lime! Lemon and lime! Get it! Okay, avoid the spikes. Get the lime. We don't need the lime. Oh yes, this is our first multi-layered one. Still pretty easy to kill, which is nice. Uh, took me a while the first time I faced them, but whatever. And then we open the door. Cool. Making some fine progress right now. Fine progress. Wait for the... Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, you know what? That works. Whee! Alright, cool. Nice little rainbow effect going on there. I think we're actually getting pretty close to the sub-boss. Oh, oh, I know this room. Okay. What we gotta do here is... Uh, these little things here are gonna spawn a couple of times. We gotta hit them in order to make them blow up these rocks here. And, uh... Okay, let me get my bearings straight. Oh, actually, no, no, yeah, we wanna... I think we can reuse that one again, because they just keep spawning. Which is nice. You guys gonna eat us hearts. It's almost nice. Deku Seed, perfect. Okay, it's only five, but, uh... It's pretty much perfect for what we need right now. There we go! Use those guys to blow up the things for us, because there's a couple of spikes you can see below us. And, uh, we obviously don't want to go near those. That is a very uh, cool and uh, unique way to have to blow up terrain. Actually, I know we are getting close to that chest up there has the dungeon item. Yes, so we want to make our way... We want to make our way that way, okay. Back around to this dude over here. You might see these lumps of sand over here is uh, what we're going to be focusing on. Now I need to get this dude out of my way. Okay. We'll get the dungeon item, that'll probably be a good place to wrap up this episode. Going across here, very nice. Over here. And there we go, very nice. Actually, there's a treasure chest down there, I'm pretty sure it has a goddess plume in it. Now I've noticed those have been kind of like varying sometimes, they do have them, sometimes they don't. So I guess we'll just see when we get there. And you get the Gust Bellows. This is an ancient and mystical device capable of blowing an endless gust of wind. Uh, you feel the con if you feel the controls are out of alignment, yeah. Okay, you feel, if you feel, only if. So I'm pretty sure, yep, these dudes are gonna come down top of us. Now, now, the Gust Bellows thing here is a very interesting item. Uh, it's got a bit of a limited use. And I wish my troll would stop going so dry, good god. Uh, <laughs> kinda gets a bit of annoying. Give me two seconds. Alright, that does it. Whew. I don't get it. I, I, every single time before I record, I gotta clear up my troll like crazy. 
Okay, just, actually, we can blow these guys off, so that's kind of funny. Um, we can also blow these dudes into those rocks. Let's get these guys off first. Actually, I should probably go down and get that chest. You, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> um, is there any other way back up other than having to jump around? I don't know. Open the chest. Oh my god! He's creeping in my booty! He's staring at my booty! Oh, cool, a golden skull. Uh, a real rarity amongst skull ornaments. Yeah, I've noticed that... Well, I, I know I said before that um, I seem to... I got golden skulls a lot more than ornamental skulls. Which, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, yeah, ornamental skulls actually seem to be, like, rarer in this game. Wait a second, you can just jump up. Well, I guess you probably would, wouldn't be able to make it your way around here originally. So, yeah, so once you fall down there, you have to climb back up that way. And you're giving me trouble, buddy. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god, actually, hang on, I gotta... I gotta let him get a little bit closer, I'm probably gonna still have to use the, uh... The slingshot for this one. There we go. And then we can also use the gust bellows to just knock those dudes right off there. Let's do it. If we be MQ it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Such a fun item. Okay. Let's get these last one. I'm pretty sure there's another one. Oh no, there's not. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, uh. Uh. Okay. Um. Having a bit of problems there, Link? I mean, I know. I know you. You've, you've you've come again you've come against uh, many many hills before but this is clearly uh, the most challenging hill you have ever faced in your entire life okay, I, 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 I yeah, actually <laughs> yeah, actually well I stuck I thought I was stuck for a second <laughs> oh my god oh my god the most challenging hill in the world that one right there ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me get to uh let me try to find my way to a safe point here and we can uh we can call this we can wrap up this episode and call this call this a good one. This is definitely a good one. I think we're making our way back to the main uh hub area here. Uh I'm pretty sure in the next episode I should be able to finish up the temple itself. In fact I know exactly where we are. We're up by that uh Aha! Yes, we're up by that block. Which oh. Hang on, wait, wait. Something's blocking our way. Oh, oh, we just got it. <laughs> okay, so this is just a shortcut back now, which is quite nice. And we can make our way down to a save point here. I'm pretty sure the next thing we have to do is go back to the room where we uh, originally used that key. And uh, we gotta blow out some of the stuff so we can get to your doors. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And in the next episode, we will advance further through the Linear Room Mines. Pretty sure it's right in here. And we, we blow out some stuff, and we go through that other locked door. So, thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next episode. So, bye for now.